I used to serve in the Mandalorian Wars. Then the Jedi Civil War crushed them. Keep back, I am. Ill. Contagious, the others say. But I might infect you. I won't turn away your help. Thank you. I'm feeling a little better. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I guess the Jedi Code is still alive and well. If you say so, I'm not sure I believe it. There's a lot of people who need help in the galaxy. If we stop to help each one, the Sith are going to be on us faster than anything. Let's just accomplish our mission first, then worry about everyone else. Something up? Uh Are you one of Sakwesh's men? Did you take my daughter? The Overseer, Sakwesh, he took my daughter to sell to the Hutts, all because I told him I could not pay his tribute. I owe Sakwesh 600 credits. I, I don't have enough. Thank you. But I... Won't he track us down and kidnap her again? Thank you. Thank you. Please hurry. After the huts have her, it will be impossible to find her. Have you f Please... Kawana <laughs> Unta chiwita inka ki kraya na chawanga kone. Tong hite mosi jochia yumba dita wa e bawa tune ruta. Greetings. Are you the spacer we were told about? We were expecting one of the pilots from the docks sometime soon to come and get us off Nar Shadal. He's late. I don't know where he is. Thank you. To be honest, I don't even know his name. Some guy named Planor said he had a pilot friend who would take us for 500 credits. 50 credits? Why? I was afraid of that. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Thank you. 
I'm beginning to lose hope that we'll ever get out of here. Hey, you look like a spacer. You work at the docks? Because if you need a crew, I'm your man. I flew during the Mandalorian Wars, and again during the Jedi Civil War. Yes, and look where I ended up. You need a pilot's license to fly the freighters here. They're tough to get without sponsorship. I'd greatly appreciate that. Hey, any... You want to find... Dovre kun mili wosa slima po wanga samoana nuta. Kavana takalu! Kavana mi donki krato. Ta winti ni ja biasta melavari? Igla ti ta cha boi? Ya tuka u wan rika chotin wani maorata wakata chi luma lispa. Da hupa, o sakurata, go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wajiyati, yukito tune. Dovre kun mili, dovre kun mili wosa slima po wanga samoana nucha. Honta chiwita inka kikraya na cha wanga kone. Kawana bota, yunta tanga kinamadora. Ta yaita, ta bosa nanansata. Da hupa, o sakurata, go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wajiyaki yukito tune. Kawana bota yuta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita, ta bosa nanansata. Ha 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 that's a surprise. Did he say I owed him credits, too? I'm as Atten as Atten will ever be. And whoever your trusted informant is, he's right. I did show up on Nar Shadda during the Jedi Civil War, along with a lot of other refugees. No, because you're asking about it. If I wanted to tell you anything, I would have come and told you. Anything else? Is this an interrogation? If so, you're terrible at it, especially for an ex-Jedi, or whatever you are. Why don't you just crawl in my head and try to dig out whatever you're looking for rather than asking about it? You know what? I helped you get off, Dragas. If I hadn't been there, you wouldn't have even gotten off the administration level. I'm trying to help you. I don't know why I'm bothering. I don't know. I'm not sure I understand it half the time. You know what? Not once have I asked you about the Mandalorian Wars. Not once. I heard about Duxon. Everyone has. I heard about Serico, and I sure as hell know about Malachor V. What makes you think you've got the right to interrogate me on anything? You've got plenty of lives to answer for. All you Jedi do. How did you even live with yourself after Malachor? Is that why you went back to the Jedi Council? Hoping they'd kill you? Wasn't it? Maybe you thought they'd forgive you. Sure, you might have thought they'd execute you. But Jedi don't kill, do they? At least not their prisoners. Maybe you were counting on it when you went back in chains. 
So you got off easy. You were exiled, brushed under the cargo ramp. Another dirty little Jedi secret. I'll tell you, all those Jedi at Malachor, they deserved it. Every last one of them. Because Jedi lie, and they manipulate, and every act of charity or kindness they do, you can drag it out squirming into the light and see it for what it is. The galaxy doesn't need Jedi arrogance or Jedi hypocrisy anymore. At least the Sith are honest about what they're killing for. The Jedi are pacifists, except in times of war. They're teachers, except when it comes to telling their students the truth. And when they save you, it's only so you can suffer more. Whatever, just leave me alone. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you anyway. Well, don't get too attached to me. I don't like it. It's because I'm a deserter. It's what I do. Served in both of them. Against the Mandalorians, before and after Revan, and again. When Revan declared war on the Jedi. I did, up until the Republic officers began to betray their oaths to the Republic and side with Revan, Admiral Kareth, Mon Halan, General Darid, and all the rest. Right after that final battle at Malachor, I was right there with the rest of the defectors, because it was the right thing to do. No, it wasn't. We needed the Jedi during the Mandalorian Wars, more than anything. The Mandalorians were slaughtering us by the millions. The millions. You were at Serico, when they turned the Starib cities into glass craters. At Duro, when basilisk war droids rained like meteors onto the orbiting cities. And when the Mandalorians set fire to the Zoxan Plains on Ares III, the fires that still burn. Without the Jedi who turned on the Council, without you, the Republic would have lost the war and we would all be Mandalorian slaves or corpses. If that's what you want to call knowing when to fight and when to kill, then yes. But you can't really break down people into Sith and Jedi and expect everything to make sense. We were loyal to Revan. That was enough. He saved us. After Malachor, after the Mandalorian Wars, that's when the Sith teachings started spreading through the ranks. We knew where our loyalties lay. To the Jedi who came to help us. Not the ones who sat back on Dantooine and Coruscant, watching us die. So when those same Jedi who watched us die decided to start fighting us during the Jedi Civil War, we fought back. I fought back. I started killing Jedi. A lot of them. People say killing Jedi is hard. It's not. You just have to be smart about it. No blasters, no getting close to them, no attacking them directly when you can gun down their allies instead. There's ways of gassing them, drugging them, making them lose control, torturing them. I was really good at it. What's worse is that killing them wasn't the best thing. Making them fall. Making them see our side of it. That was the best. I taught myself techniques. It's hard for Jedi to sense what you're really thinking if you throw up walls of strong emotions and feelings. Lust, impatience, cowardice. Most Jedi awareness doesn't cruise beyond the surface feelings to see what's deeper. And I was good at that, throwing up walls. And my superiors knew it. Sometimes the Jedi on our side wouldn't even realize I was there. Part of it? Maybe it was always me. It's hard to tell sometimes. I haven't known who I am for years. I wasn't the only one. I know you left at the Mandalorian Wars, so you don't know much about what went on behind the scenes in the Jedi Civil War. But Revan understood one thing. The real battle was going to be fought between the Jedi on both sides. That was the only battle that mattered. Whoever had the most, the strongest Jedi were going to win the Civil War. 
If Revan couldn't convert Jedi, Revan would kill them. So Revan trained elite Sith units into assassination squads, whose duty was to go out and capture enemy Jedi. I was in one of the special units trained to do this. Yeah, Revan had plans for all Jedi. I think it was important that the Jedi see his side of things, the Sith teachings. Revan wanted to break them, and then have them join him. One day, I decided not to do it anymore, so I left. Ended up on Nar Shadda, became someone else. Because you've killed Jedi too. Different circumstances, but you have a bigger body count than I ever did. And I've been with you only a short time. Enough to know that as soon as someone signs on with you, they haven't got long to live. You got history, and anyone who travels with you doesn't. And maybe I want somebody to know who I was in case a story needs to be set straight. Maybe you understand. Well, there was a woman, a Jedi. She, she gave her life for mine. I never knew her name. She sought me out. She said she had come to save me. She was lying, of course. Or I think she was. It doesn't matter. She told enough truth to get my attention. She said that Revan was doing something terrible to Jedi within the Unknown Regions. That when we captured Jedi, they were sent to a place designed to... break them. And that anyone in his service who showed any ability with the Force was sent there too, to turn them. To break them into Dark Jedi, or assassins trained to kill Jedi. She said that's what would happen to me. That I had the Force inside me. That's why I was so good at killing Jedi. And that when the Sith learned of it, there would be no escape. No turning back. I would become an instrument of the dark side, forever. I had heard talk in the ranks, troops vanishing. I knew what she meant, but I didn't believe her, or want to believe her. I did what I did with all Jedi. I hurt her. I hurt her a lot. And then, right when I thought she couldn't take any more, she showed me the Force, in my head. And I felt everything she felt. And I heard just an echo of what the Force was, and how what I was doing I think I loved her, but it wasn't that kind of love. It was the kind of love where you're willing to give up everything for someone you don't even know. I killed her for crawling in my head, for showing me that. But before she opened her mind to mine, my only thought was that I would love to kill her. And at the end, I killed her because I loved her. In the end, she sacrificed herself to keep my secret, to prevent the Sith from knowing about that touch of the Force inside me. She wasted her life to save me. Me. And I felt her die when she opened her mind. I've killed Jedi, like I said, but I was never there to feel it, to be on the receiving end. And after that, I couldn't stop feeling things. Before, guilt, lust, impatience, it had been orchestrated to get close. Now it all just kept tumbling out, and I couldn't keep doing what I was doing. So I left. I fled with the displaced war veterans to Nar Shadda and I lost myself there, until the war came to an end. I wanted no more of Jedi, or Dark Jedi, or the Force. I just wanted to be left alone. And then, I met you on Paragus. And I thought maybe, maybe she had saved me so that I could help you. And if I can't, then I have to try. I didn't want to tell you any of this, but I had to. Because if something happens, I can't let you think I was doing it for something other than the past. Once, a Jedi showed me the Force. I heard it. I felt it. At the time, there was too much pain to confront it. Because if I did, it meant I would be changed into something else. Now, I'm not afraid of it anymore. And I think that by learning how to use it, I can help protect you. Or at least buy you some time when disaster comes screaming in. I want to learn how to use the Force. I want to learn how to use the Force to help you. What must I do? Is there some... some ritual? Or...
Just say. Say the word. Yes. I hear you. Yes. I hear you. I hear you. Something up? Yes. Welcome, traveler. My name's Husef. I try to look out for the other refugees. I see you're a stranger here. Watch your step and uh, keep to the camp. You've got the Serico refugees over on the Skyward side. They're veterans from the Serico campaign and don't take kind to strangers. And on the inner side, you've got the Overseer and his exchange. They've been pushing us refugees pretty hard lately. Those two have a truce. Neither side wants to mess with the other. Only if we enter their territory. It makes things a little tight here in the camp. Not much room to move. Occasionally, their thugs kidnap people and sell them into slavery with the huts. They've also hemmed us in. We used to live all throughout this area, but they've crammed us all in here now. They're trying to break our spirit so that we'll become slave workers for the huts. This may be an opportunity for us. If we can make life miserable enough for the refugees, they will capitulate. The exchange will be a valuable ally to us. You allow yourself to be enslaved by morality. You must learn to free yourself of these arbitrary limitations. It is a waste of time to reason with you. Is there anything else you'd like to know? You might be right, but I can't imagine why else they'd be coming down on us. If you could convince either the Exchange or the Serico to give us more space, that would really help a lot. Thanks. Good luck. Another refugee? I'm sad to see another join our ranks. I lost my husband Lutra long ago in the Jedi Civil War. What? Lutra's here? Please! You must help me get to him! The exchange is circling the sector like Shyrex. If one of us should slip free, they will hunt us down and punish us. 
No one knows. I think they're trying to starve us into submission. Then they can make us slaves on the Hut Spice planets, or disposable workers in the Tabana gas factories on Slaheron. But other refugees think the exchange is looking for someone. Some even say it's a Jedi, but that's insane. No Jedi would ever come to a waste pit like Narshada. It's just a rumor. I don't even believe it. Sometimes I wonder if it's just a rumor someone dreamed up to make us suffer. Deal with the exchange? You might as well wrestle with the planet. This branch of the exchange is run by Sequesh, a Quarren with ties to Visquis himself. Visquis is the exchange boss here on Narshada, at least in this sector. You don't want to cross him. There's usually a battalion of hired guns lurking in the shadows behind him. Please, don't cause any trouble on my behalf. If you harm any of the exchange here, they'll take it out on us a hundredfold. Back again? I used to serve in the Mandalorian Wars, then the Jedi Civil War crushed. Spoiling for a fight. This is Serico territory. Get out of here before we space you. Got it? That's a laugh. Look, blow out of here like space dust, or you'll be a new stain on the cargo hold. All right, you can go see him. Hurry up and take care. Hurry up and take care of your business. I heard you've been looking for me. We don't need your help. Now, get out of here before I space you. Yeah, what is it? Well, that's too bad. Is that all you wanted to say? All right, we'll lay off a bit. Listen, I've already agreed to give the refugees some more room. Now, get out of here. Yeah? What about the exchange? We can hold our own against them. Not that it's your concern. Do you now? Suppose I were interested. What's this plan of yours? This is Sarah. Hurry up and take. Hurry up. And I heard you've been. We. Yeah. What is?
Yes. Listen. I imagine you had something to do with the Seracle backing off a bit. <laughs> Thanks for helping us out. If you could convince the Exchange to take some of the pressure off, that would really be a big help. Thanks. Good luck. <laughs> 